Community resilience is the sustained ability of a community to utilize available resources energy, communication, transportation, food, etc. to respond to, withstand, and recover from adverse situations e.g. economic collapse to global catastrophic risks. This allows for the adaptation and growth of a community after disaster strikes. Communities that are resilient are able to minimize any disaster, making the return to normal life as effortless as possible. By implementing a community resilience plan, a community can come together and overcome any disaster, while rebuilding physically and economically. Community resilience planning A community resilience plan is an action plan that allows for a community to rebuild after disaster. The plan should entail specific guidelines that will aid the community to rebuild both the economy and the ecosystem that the community thrives on. This typically means there are measures in place that a community will follow, such as the distribution of volunteers, and the access to knowledge and resources necessary to rebuild. Adaptability is a key attribute which means prevention can occur in response or before disaster strikes. The National Institute of Standards and Technology has a community resilience department tasked with solving this problem. This agency has created a Community Resilience Planning Guide, and its aim is to assist communities with anticipating challenges through a practical application that takes into account the social needs of the community as well as dependencies on the built environment, buildings and infrastructure systems. The outline of the six-step process is shown below. Six-step process Form a collaborative planning team. Understand the situation. Determine the goals and objectives. Plan development. Plan preparation, review, and approval. Plan implementation and maintenance. Topic: <laughs> Classification of hazards. The scope of community resilience extends beyond natural disasters and include man-made events. Below are an example of disasters communities face on a daily basis. Wind, hurricane, tornadoes, earthquake, landslides, liquefaction, inundation, flooding, coastal erosion, fire, natural, man-made snow or rain blizzards tsunami technological or human caused cyber warfare nuclear weapons routine hazard events that occur regularly and are typically less consequential events in terms of damage and recovery design hazard events that structures must be designed to withstand and often includes many natural disasters extreme hazard events may also found in building codes for some hazards however they are likely to cause significant and often irreparable damage damage. Topic: <inaudible> Dependencies and cascading failures. Infrastructure systems such as buildings, water, electric power, transportation, and communication are all interconnected and interdependent networks or systems. This means that a failure in one network can have catastrophic impact on another system. When Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, Louisiana on August 23, 2005, it caused network outages in transportation and power networks which led to system failure and impedance in others such communication and emergency services. Topic. See also Resilience Organizational Societal collapse